Now that Android 6.0 Marshmallow is running on a whopping 2.3% of devices, it's time for us to start talking about Android N. I'm Joe Levi with Pocket Now. Let's go hands on with the latest developer preview. Now, this is very much a developer preview, and it's not something that you're going to want to run on your everyday carry device. But it is nice to know that if you've got a Nexus or a Pixel C, you can run this on your device and see kind of what the next version of Android is going to look like. Now, most of the changes are iterative but they're all really welcome. Some of my favorites are Doze on the Go, or Doze Mode on the Go. It's gonna take some time for us to see if that really works the way that it's supposed to, but if Doze Mode, the one that we've got on uh, Android M or Android Marshmallow right now, is really anything that we can measure it by, it should be great. The next thing I like is the uh, system-wide data saver. Now, this is something that I've been using on Chrome for a long time, and I really like it. Privacy concerns aside, this is something that can not only reduce the amount of data that you're sending to your device, which of course means, you know, reduced data, but it also means faster page loads, better battery life, and of course, if you're on a limited data plan, that's less data for you as well. If you're on an unlimited plan like I am, that just means that your data is going to get to you faster regardless of what your data speed is. All around, that's good. The inclusion of the new emergency information screen really is great. Now, it's going to take a while for it to get out into common use, so EMTs and first responders aren't necessarily going to know this right out of the bat, but over time, this could potentially be a life-saving feature It's built into every Android-powered phone. That, that could be something major. Split screen. Now, split-screen multitasking is something that various OEMs have included in their builds of Android for a little while now. LG and Samsung come to mind. Now, an Android way of doing that, where we're talking AOSP, this is the way that Android will be doing it in the future, that's good news. The way that you can slide and scale and run things side by side and make things smaller and bigger and whatnot, that's great. Probably more interesting to me, though, is, well, one, how it's gonna look and how it's gonna work on a tablet, and I can't wait to get this on my Nexus 9. I'm waiting for the OTA to be able to do that. So, follow me on Twitter, at Joe Levi, so you can see some of my impressions once I get it there. But more so than that, Android TV with picture-in-picture. Picture. That sounds kinda cool. Now, it's worth mentioning here that this is a developer preview edition of the, uh, the software. It is not intended for everyday use. It's intended for developers to preview what's coming out in the next version of the Android operating system, which is probably going to be sometime this fall. Now, some things may change. Some might change a little, some might change significantly, and some might even be removed before we get to the last or the final version, the public release version, or even in any of the upcoming developer previews. So don't get your heart too set on anything. Now, because this is a developer preview version of the software, you're probably going to want to go back to the, uh, you know, the good version uh, that's not a preview or a beta. So if you want to do that, you want to go back to Android Marshmallow, it's really just as simple as well, what you did here to get Android N on your device. Download the factory image for your device, run through the same instructions to flash it, you're good to go. Again, this is going to wipe everything. so. Once again, you've been warned. One thing to keep in mind about that, however, is if you opted into the OTA beta, you'll want to make sure that you opt out of that before you go back and flash Marshmallow. Otherwise, you might inadvertently get Android N developer preview pushed to your device again, which would cost you time and bandwidth, and nobody's got time for that. So overall, what are your thoughts of the Android N developer preview? What do you think it's going to be called when it's finally released to the public? What's your favorite feature? And what do you think they got wrong? Make sure you head down to the comments and let us know your thoughts. And if you want to get any of the links where you can download the stuff and you know, flash this on your own Nexus or Pixel C device, you want to make sure you head over to the article at pocketnow.com. I'll have a link down to that in the description down below. For Pocket Now, showing off the latest and greatest preview versions of the Android operating system. I'm Joe Levi. We'll catch you next time.